Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the server side template injection vulnerability. Uh, this is quite unique and, and very, very popular in the modern frameworks like, you know, be it .NET, uh, Java, uh, PHP, Python, etc. Uh, so first off, we're going to talk about like, why, why do we, uh, why does the application using the template and, and what is the root cause of this vulnerability? And then we'll see the demo of how do you find this vulnerability? How do you exploit this vulnerability, etc. Uh, so please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Uh, let's get into this. So uh, uh, wh why do we use the template, right? So as you can see here, the web framework feature uh, is like, you know, they use the templatized. Suppose you have an application with uh, 200 pages and uh, on every two, on all the 200 pages, if you have to display the same kind of information, and when I say same kind of like there are some static information which is as is such as like you know you have a banner you have a footer you have some side panel which is similar and you are just dynamically loading some content based on maybe it's provided by the user or maybe it's coming straight from the database so that's why the templatize uh, comes to the picture so what would developer usually do is they'll prepare a template and then they will use again and again like you know uh, avoid like redundancy in the html pages so and also the benefit of it uh, benefit is like it's available for almost all the languages as I said, so if we see here there is also available for dotnet which is web forms mvc you have razor you have java spring framework java strut jww we have jsp php we have twig which is gonna we're gonna see the example of then you also have a smarty and and here is the example of the template engine so for example if you want to uh, include a dynamic value uh, be it user or database provided you uh, you have to use this syntax so for example if you want to include here uh, let's say user parameters then between two curly braces you'll put the user information or user uh, uh, user inserted value so it will be dynamically loaded into the html page so uh, this is also very famous like python flask django uh, jinja2 and then you also have Ruby and Rails and, and JavaScript, uh, which is using EJS, right? So these are these are the main reasons uh, behind using the templates and, and why do we, why does the application even like, you know, uh, like uh, renders these templates. So template engine, what is template engine? So of course, when you have, when you're using template, you need engine to uh, parse through that uh, template that's uh, maybe developed or provided to the application. So once you write the document and inject the dynamic data into the document, so template engine parses the data and displays back to the user. So uh, it's the the input will come from the controller, go to the view, uh, like in the MVC architecture, and then it will be displayed back to the user. So that is the main task of the template engine. Now, suppose you are doing a penetration testing and, and uh, the, the main question is, how do you discover this issue? Like, how do you find the, the server-side template injection vulnerability is even a thing? So uh, the simplest thing you can try is the discover using the logical operation such as math. Uh, what I personally do usually is I have a list of like, you know, uh, payloads such as this loaded into the text file. I, I uh, then I load it into the intruder and whenever I find something like, you know, uh, uh, a suspicious value or, or maybe I'll sample few input parameters and I'll fire that intruder against those input parameters and see if there is a there is like, you know, if I'm able to process anything. If I do, then yeah, of course, then that's when I'll find out, oh, this is vulnerable to template injection. So here, as you can see, uh, for different programming language or different, sorry, uh, not programming language, but as, as we see, as we saw here, uh, yeah, so based on the template engine, you have to use a different syntax, right? So what we are doing here is just simple math. So uh, if we insert this and if the answer comes 20, then we have a template injection flaw. That means the user can inject some value into the field. So uh, we're gonna try this. Of course, we're gonna try the discovery and then we'll also see how do you perform the remote code execution in our example today. So next thing is uh, read internal values. Sorry, I skipped one slide. Yeah, so here. Uh, so there are different ways you can do. So once, let's say you determine there is a template injection vulnerability, what, what do you do next? You're gonna, of course, start exploiting. You, you'll dive deep into the issue. So first of all, you're gonna do like self references the current class. Then you will also try like figure out the methods. Again, this is uh, this this will change from engine to M engine. So this might work for Smarty uh, uh, engine, but might not work for Twig. 
then you can also do like remote code execution such as java.lang.runtime execution. There's also a good tool uh, to automate all of this, which is uh, called TPL map. I'll, I'll also show you this uh, particular example. Uh, you can also have it integrated into the verb extension, uh, which is very cool to automate uh, finding. All right, so uh, let's see a demo. Uh, maybe uh, it will be a quick one. I'll, I'll show you how do you find the vulnerability and then actually how do you exploit it. So this is the uh, tool that I was talking about, TPL map. And as you can see here, uh, TPL map assist exploitation of code injection server side template injection vulnerabilities with a number of sandbox escape techniques to get access to the underlying operating system. The tool, its test suite are developed to research uh, classes and to be used by offensive security tool during web application penetration test. It can exploit several code contexts and blight injection scenarios. It also supports eval like code injection in Python, Ruby, PHP, Java, generic unsandbox template engines. And uh, here is the like, you know, uh, some tool and, and how do you actually run this particular tool and and it supports pretty much all the uh, like, you know, well known template engine, which is pretty good. Uh, so uh, let's go to a demo. This is the extreme uh, vulnerable by application and uh, the simple test we're going to do is so here if you type your name test, it's going to come back and say test. So we want to determine whether we have a template injection on WD or not. Now, of course, this is a uh, intentionally vulnerable application. It tells you like whether that which template engine it is using. So we can have it's easier for us to determine the payload here, right? So if we if we see this one uh, right here, uh, let's see. Yeah. So for Twig. Uh, we got to use a double curly braces, right? So let's try this. So, and let's do four multiplied by five. Okay, so that evaluated, that means it, there is a possibility of terminal injection. If you try the same thing with the single curly braces, it might not work because the syntax error right so it, it did not it just put it back as a string now there is also a possibility it could also be vulnerable to cross-site scripting uh, because most of the template injection like it doesn't do the input validation so if you want to validate that we can quickly try that uh, script so yeah it's vulnerable but that's not our main goal so, okay, so once we find this out, uh, next thing we wanna do is like do some command injection and and, and try to uh, like treat it as a command injection, right? So you, you are firing some co co commands to the backend operating system and, and getting the data out. So I have I have payloads uh, which is already written. So, so self is an object for the tweak. Environment is one of the attribute. And then here what we are doing is, we are using the executive attribute to register and then uh, get filter is one of the method which is available and here you can pass on uh, any command which will give you details uh, which will go and execute in the back end and, and give you the response from the operating system so if we fire this one you you saw this data now what else you can do is you can also do who am i so it says www data you can of course do any 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 uh, like you know system command you can try here pwd so this is the uh, path of the current directory uh, there is also uh, so let me show you this yeah this is another method available to environment uh, object set cache and what it does is it actually caches or it fetches the cache from the remote system now most of the time the PHP admin must have disabled like uh, the remote file inclusion but in cases it's allowed you can easily also include a, a uh, like you can exploit the remote file inclusion vulnerability which we have obviously discussed previously as well. So uh, this are, these are some of the uh, like you know ways to exploit the template injection. The, the main thing you want to do as I said earlier is determine like discover the issue like you have to find out whether the issue exists or not 
uh, otherwise like uh, and and for that the discovery uh, commands which i said like you know try different math operations try different syntax this set of syntax maybe have it saved in like we have to write it one time and save it into the txt file and every time you're doing the pen testing just uh, just load that file into the intruder and try to automate this it will save a lot of time as well so uh, try that out let me know if you have found this vulnerability anywhere and, and what was the your your workaround or procedure to find out this vulnerability i'm obviously curious to learn about the other techniques as well uh, so yeah thank you so much and if you have any comments suggestions please drop me in the comment as well uh, and and please look out for the next video uh, next week uh, and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and and hit the thumbs up button